friends. With evening fast approaching, Sierra ended the call with Danielle and Steve shortly after dinner. With it being a Thursday, she had school the following day. The three of them amicably said goodbye to the night, expecting to talk again soon. However, very little did any of them know this would be the last time that Danielle and Steve spoke to Sierra. <laughs> March the 16th, 2012. Back in Morgan Hill, it was a typical work day. The gardener of our household followed its everyday morning routine. Rick woke up to leave for work at around 6 a.m. And shortly after this, Marlene came to kiss Sierra on the forehead before leaving for her own day. It was now up to Sierra to get ready for school and lock up the house. Tweeting a friend at 6.29am, she put on her shoes and then headed out of the front door to get the bus. You see, the Quito Esplana Court was quite far out Hi, from Mama. Toronto High School and the rest of Morgan Hill. Hi, Neymar. Like many children across America, Sierra would have to walk down a what rural road I? surrounded by farmland uh -huh. through Palm and Doherty Avenue to catch the bus every morning. At 7.11am, while on the way, she texted a friend to ask if they could meet up before classes began. But only four minutes You're later, pretty. when her school bus arrived at 7.15am, Sierra was nowhere to be seen. Sierra failed to show up for a bus, and even worse, she failed to meet up her friend before class, or even school at all. Although her friends thought it was odd that Sierra hadn't shown up for school, <laughs> none of them figured it was prudent enough to learn for school. 